Hey, Summit, this is Edward. You know this guy, Jake. This is your weekly update coming right at you right now. Share it on all your platforms. And uh, get the word out, Jay, because I know we're going to got some new stuff coming up, how we're going to communicate, but this is still how we're getting most of the stuff out. Emails, videos, yep. uh, Facebook. Yep. So share it on your platforms, Facebook, YouTube, um, MySpace, Your Space, yeah. all that stuff. Uh, we've got a couple things going on, Jake. Why don't you talk about what you got on January 4th? February. Uh, February 4th. Gosh, man. Yeah. This Sunday at 3 o'clock, we're going to be doing something called Regroup, where we're going to invite anybody. You, if you're in a small group currently, if you're leading a small group currently, whoa, check that out. If you are interested in getting plugged into a small group, if you want to know more about what the small group ministry looks like, if you want to meet new people, because our church is growing yeah. and not everybody knows everybody, man, we're just going to have a big old time of fellowship. I'll have some snacks, some coffee, some tea, some water that you mentioned last week. Yep, yep, yep. And then uh, I'll just kind of talk about what small groups is, what small groups isn't, give you an opportunity to meet each other. And then uh, I'll be having some... Uh, cards that you can fill out that lets me know what kind of group you're looking for, what you're interested in. And then uh, the goal is to try to get you connected, connected to some other people, connected in a group, whether that's an existing group, whether we form new groups, whatever. It's all good. So if you're in a group right now and you're thinking about, man, we want to try a different night or try a different group, it's be a great event for you to come and be a part of, to learn more. Um, you know, you, there's some people that's been in groups forever, yeah, but yeah. this may be an opportunity to be in a new group and venture and, out and be there. I, I got a phone call last night. I'm yeah. excited about that. Uh, so if you're listening to this on Sunday morning, uh, uh, come back this afternoon. If you're listening yeah, to it, three o'clock, be thinking about that uh, going on. Where else you got, bud? That's it. Just hey, just don't uh, don't forget, man. We're we're in full swing. 2024. We're in full swing. Children's ministry on Wednesday nights. They alternate uh, kindergarten through third or kindergarten through second one Wednesday, and then third through fifth. So make sure you keep it up with that. Youth ministry in full swing every Wednesday night. Celebrate recovery every Thursday night. We have church every Sunday morning. I mean, you know, make the disciple now morning. coming up February 16th through the 18th. Uh, on Wednesday nights, we've been passing out QR codes to all of our students, 6th grade through 12th grade. Uh, if you do not know what Disciple Now in, it's like a weekend retreat it's here locally. Student weekend we, retreat. We do uh, use host homes. People in our church open their homes up to teenagers to stay with them. We do events here. We do worship and teaching here at the church. Uh, do some events down at Hollybrook Baptist Church, who's partnering with our student ministry. So make sure your students are signed up. I know I talked to some students Sunday morning uh, that have not uh, kind of made that transition to yeah. Wednesday night. And so be talking to your friends, get them signed up. I got a text last week from one of our students, happens to be my son, but anyway, uh, from some of our students that they were uh, sharing that QR code at school, getting kids signed up oh. and being a part of that. So if you want to be a part of that weekend to serve, I'd love to talk to you. Still going to need some more host homes just for backup to make sure that we have enough to get our kids in the homes. Uh, things happen. COVID's been going around, sickness, and yeah. that kind of stuff. We can't predict that. So it's good to have backup homes for that. So the Disciple yeah, Now, 16 through 18, need help with money. Let us know. We have scholarships. Uh, we can get your kids in there. What else you got, dude? Uh, I mean, I could talk for hours. I know. But I don't really Please have don't. Okay. Um, We are starting a new series this Sunday called The Bible's Shortest Books. Oh, It sounds like it's got a segment on a new show, doesn't it? So 1 John, 2 John, 3 John. No. Um, no those, those are pretty short books. So here's where we're going. You ready for this? Pretty, pretty short. Uh, it, they are. They are. So this week, we're going to be talking about Philemon. Oh, but I'm not gonna tell you what we're talking about after that. You just got you got to go find out. Did you say filleting like filleting fish? No, that sounds good. Maybe I'm hungry. Yeah, fish I, does sound good. Yeah, I just need to fish. Yeah, Jesus fished. If it'll warm up, like today would be perfect to fish. Yeah, we're off subject. 
Some of we love you. Invite somebody if you're listening to this Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Invite them to church on Sunday. If you're here on Sunday morning, in about five minutes, we're going to start worship. As soon as this video ends, there's going to be a countdown that pops up on the screen. We're so glad you're here this morning. If you're listening during the week, share this on your platforms. Uh, bring somebody with you. Invite them. I'm still sending out my text. Every Except Saturday. for the Sundays I preach. Hey, I'm still sending. Well, it's Except for the Sundays I preach. You made, that, Sundays you I made preach. that threat to preach naked. Except for the Sundays you I preach. You made that okay, threat. Okay, if you don't know what he's talking about, go back and listen to the sermon I preached where Adam and Eve were created and they were naked and unashamed. Sin entered the world. They covered themselves. I was preaching the gospel. It's all I was doing. No, you threatened to preach naked. I did not. So, so that we love you. I have text. We love you. Have a great day.